Okay, so you can see here that I've continued to work on my VUG using the different gradients. Um, I've got radial, splattered, and um, linear. So here's a splattered one, here's a, another splattered one, here's radial, and this one was a linear. So, oh, and this one is a new one that I've done. Let me bring this to the front. Um, arrange, bring to the front. This is another linear one. And then I'll do command Z there. So one of the things I've been wanting to do, let me, I've created, put this all in a layer. These white lines, I wanted those to show up as lines. And so I'm going to use brushes for those. So I have created a new layer. And here's that line I drew quite a while ago. And I have played with the brushes um, to create a new technique. So let me put this aside for a moment. And I am going to take my um, pen tool and I am going to draw this line right here. Okay, so now you can see and then hit the P to release it. So you can see here I have this line and it's so faint that it, it does blend in there a bit. Um, let me blow it up. But I want to get a nice soft sort of halo effect to that. So I'm going to go to my brushes here. And there's lots of different brushes here. One of the things that I've done is I went into the brushes here and I opened up the brush library and I opened up bristle brushes. And so that's what you're seeing here. Okay, so this gives me some softer um, ways of playing with it. So I'm going to click this brush and you can see what has happened with that. That's um, each one of these lines represents a different bristle and I can play with that and pick a narrower bristle, okay? Eventually, we're going to create our own brushes and um, manage these a little bit more. But for now, I am just going to take something that exists because your probably, head is probably swelling a little bit now with all the different um, techniques that you've learned. So here is another brush that I went in. You can see the, the rippling effect there. Okay, so this was bristle brushes and there's a couple different brushes but I think the bristle brush is probably the best one for the type of project that we're doing now so I'm going to draw this line here as well and I can go and use my eyedropper to select that style that I already have and then this one here and again grab my eyedropper to create that style. And then I'm going to go back to my layers. You don't necessarily have to put it on a separate layer, but I wanted to so I could show you um, it in isolation. Now, actually, when I look at this and zoom in, it doesn't look like the eyedropper actually grabbed that brush. Let me try that again. So I'm not grabbing that brush, so I am just going to go up here and select it. Okay, so I will go to this and select that brush. Okay, um, and then I can play with the point size a bit to rein that in. So I'm going to go back here and play with the point size of that to make that a little bit thinner. So again, that's not perfect. It's not imitating at 100%. But I think for the purposes of your first assignment, that's something that um, might enhance your work and not be too, too much brain overload for now. Okay? Good luck. I look forward to seeing what you do.